Well hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gavin Webber and today we're going to learn how to make simple tea lights. So in this video I'm going to step you through how to make simple tea lights using some of the kits and uh, supplies that you can find over at Little Green Workshops. Specifically the deluxe uh, tea light kit or even the plain and simple tea light kits where you get lots of tea lights that you can make for burning in your oil burners. Let Kim and I show you how we make simple tea lights. So there's our deluxe tea light kit. Uh, like I mentioned you can also use the plain and simple tea light kit to make these. Now with those kits you come these little polycarb tea lights and you can notice there's a circle in the middle and that's to put the wick in so you can actually get it centered properly. Now to stick the wick on you'll need some wick stickers which also come in the kit and the pack and it's easier to stick the wick onto the sticker and then take the sticker off and put it into the tea light uh, and you get it centered every time. So we use a double boiler method and that's the double boiler pot we have and we quarter fill it with water and then we put wax into the jug that goes inside the pot and that melts all of the wax for us. Now in the instructions for these kits you'll find that there are temperature ranges where you need it to melt it to and when you can add fragrance. So Kim's just pouring into the uh, wax pouring jug and it has a nice long spout on it and she's just checking the temperature of the wax before she adds the fragrance she wants to. Now you don't have to add fragrance. If you're going to burn these uh, for a romantic setting or something like that, then yes, these would be perfect to add fragrance to. But if you're just using them for an oil burner, then you won't need to add fragrance into your wax. So now that she's thoroughly stirred the fragrance through, she's just pouring the wax into each of the little tea light cups. And you'll notice she doesn't overfill them, obviously, because that makes such a mess, but she fills it just enough uh, and she can come back later and top them up if it needs be, as you can see there. So she's trying to get as much out of that amount of wax she had. So once all the tea light cups have been topped up and you've used all of your wax you can just go and make another batch uh, with the right amount of fragrance if you're using fragrance as I mentioned. So before we do that before the candles uh, solidify and if there's a little bit too much you can use a little bit of paper towel and wick away some of the wax. Now notice that Kim there is now straightening all of the wicks if there are any that are crooked just makes the tea light look a little bit better if you're going to sell them. So the other candles have solidified and she's just doing the second batch and you can probably notice the tray on the back also has had all of them filled as well. And just straightening the wicks again. There we go, they look perfect. So this is how you can do it in batches. That wax pouring jug really is a godsend for fiddly work like this. And there's the final product. Lovely little tea lights and you can package them up in a nice box if you like if you're going to sell them or give them away as gifts. So don't forget you can get your candle making kits and supplies over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au and just go to the candle making supplies section. There you'll find all our candle kits, candle colours, even some pre-made candles, lots of books, wicks, fragrance oils, soil wax and all the equipment and supplies you need. Well thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that simple video tutorial. There will be more tutorials on a weekly basis and we will be showing how to use our products and how to get the most out of the kits and supplies that you can buy from Little Green Workshops. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.
So once again, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.